tests. This is the one with the camera, not using any microphone. It's just the microphone from the camera, so internal microphone. For all of these tests, uh, I'm gonna be using um, a dead cat, which helps to reduce the noise, especially wind. Right now, I'm doing the test with the Rode Mic Go. And this one is the Rode Mic Go 2, which uh, I just found out it came out today. So as soon as I saw it, I bought it. It actually, from what I remember, cheaper than the first Mic Go. And there's many things that I like from the looks or the quality that it looks like from this uh, microphone. And this one right here is the Rode Mic Pro. Right now there's the Mic Pro Plus, which doesn't require batteries like this one. And this is the one that I was complaining a little bit about. Once you start running out of batteries, uh, you start to have uh, some issues with the sound and then it's cutting or you have like some weird sound. And this one is gonna be a little bit different since I'm just using an external recorder. This is the Tascam DR40. Uh, I'll be putting the name right here. Uh, I really like it. I think out of all the microphones, an external recorder just sounds really good. And it's understandable, especially when you put it close to you and you can lower down how high the gains on the microphone are and, and they sound pretty good and I'm also I'm also using a dead cat for the external recorder so uh, you guys let me know which one of these you think uh, sounded better now we're gonna go and um, we're gonna see the difference between uh, all these microphones in a different setting. Let's go, let's go check that out. I'm on a spot where there's pretty decent wind. There's not too much but it is a windy day uh, there's also a ton of leaves and trees so there's a lot of uh, leaves and uh, wind and also some cars going by I'm using the road mic pro and I have the the dead cat on it which it's this uh, hairy thing that prevents uh, from wind noises uh, it, it's getting pretty windy right now Pretty, pretty windy. And now I have the Rode Mic 2 on with the dead cat. Uh, it's still pretty windy. We are on the spot where there's all the leaves and the wind. It's still pretty windy. So I'm really, really curious to know how this one handles. It is uh, really different than the first uh, uh, mic go. When I first saw it, I was really surprised at the design of this microphone. I, I'm really curious to know how much of a difference there is. So we're on the same uh, spot where there's all, all of these uh, trees and leaves going on the floor. There's like cars behind and I'm, I'm using the road uh, might go first one uh, and I have the dead cat on which um, should make it sound a lot better than without it, especially it should sound better than uh, having the internal microphone from the camera, which I don't find terrible, like a lot of people say, but compared to high quality sound, yeah, it's not good. I usually get a lot of uh, ambient sound, like the ones that uh, we're gonna be listening to right now. Uh, so right now we don't have any microphone on, just the internal one.
this one is going to be the final test I'm using the Rode Mic Pro and uh, I'm inside of my car so I didn't know this but cars are like um, a really good place where you can get uh, really good sound the car is on so it is not super quiet but uh, we're gonna see the differences between these microphones inside the car this is the Rode Mic microphone go the road might go uh, and this is how it uh, sounds right here inside the car I have the the camera pretty close to me and I mean it should sound pretty good all of them inside of the car from what I've heard so uh, again this is the road mic go and then we have the external recorder which uh, is using the internal microphone of the external recorder and it's the Tascam DR40 something like that that's that's what I think it is and again I think that this is this is just one of the best sound there is um, being uh, an external recorder should be pretty good but um, it's uh, it's pretty good for you know getting audio from other sources so uh, we'll see how all this compare and uh, you guys let me know and then we have the internal camera microphone from the Nikon C6 II which it shouldn't be terrible um, uh, camera internal microphones they're not um, professional they're just um, sometimes for bass audio uh, and for emergency purposes <laughs> when you don't have anything else but um, I mean I don't think it's terrible but again compared to something more professional or even one of these microphones it's not that good and the last but not least is the new uh, Rode Mic Go 2 which again I just found out about it today so I had to get one because I'm a big fan of the number one of the first one and uh, well it's not not even I wouldn't even say it's great it's just good uh, it's better than just having the internal uh, camera microphone and uh, I mean I like it and it's uh, pretty small very lightweight but compared to the number two and again just uh, the difference on on the price I was really surprised so I'm hoping that the my go 2 has a pretty good sound thanks everyone for watching uh, I just wanted to say I haven't heard at this point or I haven't listened to the road my go 2 so I don't know how it sounds I am hoping or you know my hope is that it should be better than the first one why would you make a number two if it's not gonna be better than the first one this was just a, a fun comparison i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did i really like this kind of comparisons I, I especially have a thing for microphones in general all types of microphones i really like the differences on, on sounds let me know which one you thought sounded better and which one would you would prefer and why uh, thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video see ya